Hello, Christina Resso. Thanks for tuning into this video and happy middle of the work week Wednesday to you. Opening question by Candace Owens doing her interview with Tucker Carlson several weeks ago. Are blacks the most murderous people in the country? Now, I would disagree with her about black Americans. It's the men that are more hindrous to black Americans than the women and children because we tend to be less violent. Why do I say that? Well, remember Rodney King? We all know who he was back in the early 90s. I believe I was in middle school. Uh, I didn't quite you know, go to high school at the time, but um, one, of, one of my mother's boyfriends brought this out, how he was beaten and all this crap until we found out the real deal. Because when it comes to situations, I must admit, black Americans have a very myopic lens of the real deal. Most black people who are caught by police or accidentally, whether it's an accidental murder or anything or any other situation that involves law enforcement, it's usually rebellion on the black person's part. And it's not completely their fault. I say there because I've never experienced this with the cops. Lack of fatherhood, broken down homes for over the last 50 years, etc. I mean, it is what it is. Why Black Americans suffer such degeneracy and dysfunction, you have to go back to my Rumble video where I talk about the root of Black problems. And it has nothing to do with white people. They like to blame white people but it has nothing to do with that. The closest of explaining it was uh, John Wayne, as hurtful as it may sound, being irresponsible. And again, the breakdown of the family, because that's how you build a community in the beginning. And up until the last 30 years, let's be honest, if a black man is married, usually goes for a non black a woman outside of the community when he's successful because women outside of the community is not going to tolerate his crap let me digress so the reason i say this coming back to the story about rodney king a rebellious criminal driving full speed as i found out about the full story of what happened not obeying the cops. When he's finally stopped, I think two other passengers left his vehicle. And uh, the rest is uh, blurred based on the media. One person did completely film everything that happened, but the media chose to only show certain parts because they know how emotional black Americans can be. Again, back to the myopic lens. And I say myopic because I have myopia in my left eye and um, it's very blurry, okay? Without my glasses. So you, you don't see things very clearly as they should. Am I denigrating black Americans? Of course not. I'm just speaking the truth. It is what it is. I was born into this racial group. There's a purpose that God created me in this racial group. In spite of being in two minorities, black and female, I'm not denigrating it at all. I'm just speaking facts as it is. There's a lot of work to be done, but it's not the woman, it's the man. So back to the story of Rodney King, he gets stopped and he gets out. 
fix off the uh, the the police helicopter. Uh, several of the police officers try to tase him. He can't get down because he's such a big dude. And uh, that's when they use they had to use their bidding, their uh, what do you call those uh, police clubs? Um, my mother had one because we had high security officers in our family. Um, those black night sticks, I guess that's what you call them. Yeah. Okay. If they, they're still called that, I don't think police officers carry those anymore. They have tasers and firearms. So they end up striking this guy 30 times until they actually got him down because he was so high on drugs. All right. So, you know, like him and the Trayvon Martins and, Dr and George Floyds, they were all losers at the end of the day. day excuse me. Did they deserve to die in case, of, in case a black person is stumbling across this video? Of course not. Okay, again, the myopic lens, lens, you can say, I smell gas, and a black person will interpret, oh, she said it's a fire in the house. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay, so the reason I bring this up, we had another millionaire, quote, $4 million millionaire from North Carolina, who's also guilty of murder. Um, I don't know if Rodney King murdered anyone. Nonetheless, he's still convicted of a crime. So I found out about this story. I came across this on Daily Wire, of course, but I came across uh, this story listening to one of my favorite podcasts overnight. And because um, I usually listen to podcasts while I'm trying to get some sleep. All right. And so, um, same uh, deal. Uh, they say poverty leads to crime. You know it's the complete opposite because uh, if you're a convicted felon, you're going to have a hard time finding a job. Yet these men have millions and yet they still committed crimes. So, we read story headline, excuse me. North Carolina man who won 10 million lottery sentenced to life in prison for murder. Now, he won this out of one of, one of those uh, scratch offs. So um, talk about luck, and I, and I don't believe in luck because I know it didn't come from the Lord, um, especially if he's sentenced to life in prison for murder. Now, I'm surprised. Now, here in Texas, they would have fried him. But anywho, he had one of those scratch-off things. Um, and luckily, he won the $10 million. Due to the taxes, he ended up with $4 million. And I compared him with the Rodney King th deal because Rodney King, I think he also had $4 million when he overdosed and drowned in a pool. A North Carolina man won $10 million on a lottery ticket. Uh, I don't think lottery tickets, do they exist anymore? You got to pick numbers or the quick pick. I, I, we called it those when I was a kid in the 80s. One of those scratch off. A murder and sentenced to life in prison. Michael Todd Hill, a 54-year-old from... Brooms Wicks County was convicted of first degree murder for killing his girlfriend, 23 year old Kiana Graham, in 2020. He was sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole Monday. I'm guessing Memorial Day this past Monday. He was also sentenced to an additional term of 20 to 36 months of possession of a firearm by a felon. He was arrested and jailed in the same year. Now, we hear that this, this man was also married. Now, 54 years old. I'm nine years younger than this fella. 
but but again, men are more violent than women. The last thing on my mind is to play around with someone young enough to be my child, number one, and then to murder the person, number two. But let's let's see his motive for murdering the person. Because he probably was going to tell his wife who committed adultery. Uh, let's see. Can't find it. According to uh, Rain, Raylene News, I think that's the, the major city in North Carolina. An observer, Hill and Graham, had been in a loving relationship for more than a year when she was reported missing in July, on July, excuse me, complete date on, not in. On July 20th, 2020, Graham's body was discovered by local police a few days later in the room of the Sure State Hotel in Shaylock, North Carolina, about 40 miles outside of Wilmington. Prosecutors press released that Graham was found in the room with a gunshot wound, wound excuse me, to the back of the head. Oh, that's, that's horrific. Doesn't say anything about the motive. They met in the hotel, checked out. Um, of course, at 11 o'clock, that's um, a normal time when you're checked out of a hotel. And uh, once checked out, uh, the housekeeper knocked on the door. After they repeatedly received a response, of course, they opened the door. Housekeeping, they announce it several times, and then they go in if the person doesn't say anything. And then that's when they found this woman's body. I don't want to hear anything about how much of a good dude this guy was. He was a supposedly an employer at a nuclear plant and I'm sure he makes good money because which is what men do. I mean uh, men have more of an advantage than women because they can get uh, due to your physical body strength you can um, you really don't need a college degree or additional education outside of high school to, um, unless she's joining, the, unless we join the military or in the post office or something like that. But men have more of an advantage due to your physical strength. Okay. That's what he did and he did one of those scratch off things and won millions and ended up with 4.1 million due to owing money to Uncle Sam. See, the, the, and that's one of the reasons I don't gamble either. Because I won that money. It's enough Uncle Sam takes my money from taxes from working for a living. But if I won something, I believe it's mine. I wouldn't even go on a game show. For even uh, like a family view for 20,000 or six digit figures because Uncle Sam is going to snatch it. No, they, they said Uncle Sam snatches enough f from me. I'd rather work for him and do my dues that way. But to waste my time on a little scratch off ticket for, I mean, he got the money, but he was still a loser at the end of the day. Christina Bresso, thanks for listening. Pray for our nation and pray for our brothers and sisters that are suffering globally under the persecuted church. And I'll talk to you super soon.